At some point, he will be extradited to uh, Pennsylvania to answer for the charges over there. But he's also going to be charged here as well. An hours long violent crime spree involving two states and sparking a shelter in place ends with a suspect in custody tonight. Saturday night, I'm Walter Perez. The big story in Action News is developing in Mercer County, New Jersey. That's where authorities say 26 year old Andre Gordon surrendered. This after he allegedly murdered three people across the river. His day long crime spree began in Bucks County, Pennsylvania, where his victims were killed in two separate locations. Investigators say he then carjacked someone before making his way over into New Jersey. Action News has team coverage from where it all began in Levittown to where it ended in Trenton. Brianna Smith begins our live coverage from Levittown tonight. Brianna. Walter, several law enforcement agencies have been investigating crime scenes from here in Levittown, Pennsylvania, all the way to Trenton, New Jersey, and trying to figure out what happened here. And they're also trying to figure out why that 26-year-old suspect came here with an AR-15 style rifle to kill his stepmother, his sister, and the mother of his two young daughters. It was very shocking and unsettling the whole entire day. I thought it's going to be a nice relaxing day. But instead, Levittown residents received an alert Saturday morning to shelter in place for three hours because of an active shooter. And I saw a um, whole bunch of cop cars racing up and down the street. 26 year old Andre Gordon Jr's alleged crime spree started with the carjacking of Sonia Hansen in Trenton this morning. Guy started banging on my car with the back of the gun. And then I jumped over the stage and ran. I'm so glad I'm just alive because I think he could have killed me. Falls Township Police say Gordon drove that stolen vehicle from Trenton to Viewpoint Lane in Levittown just before 9 a.m. That's where he broke into a home and shot and killed his stepmother, 52-year-old Karen Gordon, and his sister, 13-year-old Kara Gordon, who was an eighth grade student at Bame Middle School. There were three other individuals at the residence, including a minor inside the home who were able to hide. This neighbor's video shows Gordon escape to a silver car and speed to another home on Edgewood Lane in Levittown. Police say Gordon shot and killed 25 year old Taylor Daniel, who is the mother of his two children. Her friend shared these photos of Daniel, describing her as a super mom who was a beautiful, carefree, happy soul. And there were four other individuals present inside that home, one of which was injured after being bludgeoned by Gordon with the assault rifle. Police say Daniel's mother was hit and rushed to the hospital for treatment. Then around 9.15 a.m., Gordon carjacked a 44-year-old man in the Dollar General on Bristol Pike in Morrisville and fled without hurting him. I feel for the little kids because now with, they're without the mother and the father. And again, police are still investigating to determine a motive. They're here right now to secure the scene. And as for the suspect's criminal history, Falls Township police say they've had minor contact with him in the past. And criminal dockets show he only had traffic violations. Live in Levittown, Brianna Smith for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. Okay, Brianna, thank you. After the brutal rampage in Bucks County, authorities say the suspect made his way into New Jersey. Just about 10 miles over the state line, Gordon barricaded himself inside a home in Trenton. Chopper 6 captured the scene along Phillips Street at about 3.30 this afternoon. You can see members of a SWAT team on the roof peering through windows. It was 90 minutes later when Gordon finally surrendered. Action News reporter Charles Watson continues our team coverage tonight in Trenton. And Charles, we're told the suspect surrendered peacefully. That's right, uh, Walter. And you know, for hours, uh, police had been focusing their attention on that home on the 100 block of Phillips Avenue. Uh, that is where police believe 26 year old Andre Gordon had barricaded himself. That is until earlier this evening when police discovered that Gordon was able to get away from that home and make his way to another location outside of that police perimeter that uh, police had set up. Yeah, when they grabbed him, they, he was identified. He actually, he actually gave up his pedigree. Police finally have 26 year old Andre Gordon in custody after a nearly six hour barricade situation at this home on the 100 block of Phillips Avenue. Police say they ended up here after Gordon allegedly killed three family members and carjacked a man this morning in Bucks County. The 26 year old drove to Trenton where he parked the stolen Honda CRV on Miller Street, about a block away from the standoff on Phillips Avenue. It's scary um, to know that that situation could be so close. A neighbor who doesn't want her face shown says when she heard and saw police, she rushed over to Phillips Avenue where she says several of her family members live and had to be evacuated. Some of them actually had to be taken out through an upstairs window 
and another family member. She's elderly. She had to be taken out on a police officer's back. As the standoff looked to go longer, around 5.30, Trenton police confirmed officers took Gordon into custody blocks away on New York Avenue, where he surrendered to officers. He was at he was that house at one point, uh, but before we were able to establish a perimeter, he slipped out. Folks who live on Phillips Avenue say they often saw Gordon at what they describe as a boarding home. One neighbor who knows him personally tells Action News Gordon is a dedicated boxer, and they say they're shocked to hear about the murders he's accused of committing. He's a good kid. He was, I just don't understand why he would do something like that, to be honest with you, but you just never know. Yeah, and at last check, police say they have not located the AR-15 style rifle that Gordon uh, is accused of using and the murders he's accused of committing. However, police say they have obtained a search warrant for the home on Phillips Avenue and are looking through it to see what they may find. For now, we're live in Trenton. Charles Watson for Action News at 10 on PHL 17. Walter. All right, Charles, thank you. We're continuously updating the 6ABC app with the latest developments on this triple murder investigation. The app is free and allows you to receive push alerts on your phone so you have breaking news coverage immediately.